I'm Josh Willis. I'm a climate scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and right now I'm in Keflavik, Iceland, in front of the Gulf Stream 3, which we're using to conduct a survey for oceans melting Greenland. We have a series of points laid out where we would like to collect data, and by and large, we fly over those points and drop when we're right above them. However, in some places where ice or clouds are a factor, we relocate our points in order to find open water that's clear, where we know we're not dropping on top of a ship or anything, and we're able to drop through an area without sea ice. So in fact, when we have to change quickly because there's sea ice conditions or clouds in our drop point, uh, we look out the window and look for places where we see clear open water and clear skies just above it, and we drop in those. So the team is sometimes targeting in real time uh, trying to find places that are close to our original plan drops, but uh, not quite there. We've set up four different primary locations for collecting the observations for OMG. Because of the range of the aircraft and the way the survey plan spreads out the ocean measurements, we really have to operate out of bases that are nearby and collect data that is not too long a trip for the plane. If we spend a lot of fuel flying out and flying back, then that means we have less fuel to actually drop the probes and collect data. So we've partitioned Greenland essentially into four pieces, north and south and east and west. We began by surveying the southwest part of Greenland and we operated out of Kangarlooswak. We also dropped some probes on the way over when we flew from Bangor, Maine to Kangarlooswak. So we flew from Bangor to Kangar. So uh, it, it, the uh, Kangar Luswak was a very interesting place, but we were able to operate out of there for several days and really complete a large chunk of the southwest part of the survey, dropping several dozen probes over the course of three or four days. After picking up about 50 probes from Thule, we flew to Svalbard, Norway, a small island off the northeast coast of Greenland. From there, we were able to complete the northeast part of the survey, at least the parts that weren't covered with ice, and then flying across the northern edge of Greenland and surveying along the northern coast of Greenland on our way back to Thule. Then we spent several days in Thule, completing the northwest part of the survey, before yesterday flying right across the Greenland ice sheet to Iceland and landing here in Keflavik. We've set out a very ambitious plan here with the goal of dropping 250 probes in about a month. We're a little over halfway right now. We've dropped 150. We have 100 left to go and about two weeks left to do it in. So we're definitely beginning to feel the time crunch, but I'm confident that we can have a really excellent survey with just a number of good weather days.